Hello there, welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general weekly reading for anyone who might be connecting with a Taurus. So this could be a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Uh, you might even be a Taurus yourself. Hold on a second. Ow, Jesus. So you might even be a Taurus yourself. Um, if you're familiar with tarot and the way the energy works, I'm sure you understand that um, even if you are a Taurus who's not connecting with another Taurus, this reading can still resonate with you. So let's see here. I'm going to go over the cards as, um, you know, as I uh, pull them. I'm going to go over what they're representing. Um, if you have any questions, I'm not sure if I said this, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. So a card for your Taurus, Six of Pentacles, uh, Taurine Energy, also Libra. <clears throat> so they're dominant outward traits. So this is how others might view them, generally speaking. Um, let's see here. The World Card, Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, okay. Uh, dominant Inward Trait, so this is something others might not notice about this person. Sagittarian Energy, Nine of Wands, how they appear, how they view love in a general sense, alright. How they view love in a general sense. Um, the Ten of Wands, Sagittarian Energy, okay. How they appear to be handling this connection. Shit. Temperance. This is another Sagittarius card. You could definitely be a Sagittarius, okay? I uh, don't have to be. Of course, this person might have strong Sagittarius in their chart. Um, let's see. How, did, how are they handling this connection internally? How's this Taurus handling this connection internally? Seven of Pentacles. Taurian energy, okay? Uh, what are their intentions here? Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. What are their goals? What are their goals? Uh, seven of Cups. Scorpionic energy, okay? Uh, what's at risk here? Nine of Cups, Piscean. What's the obstacle here? <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Somebody's trying to move on from you, I think. Okay, so let's see. Let's split the deck and see what actions they're going to take and how those are going to play out for them. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Five of Swords, Aquarian, okay? So, this person, this Taurus, I feel, is a very giving individual. They probably give their all to people, okay? Is what I feel like saying here. Very reliable, very, um, yeah, just very reliable, very loyal, all right? But, um, they expect a little too much, I feel, uh, because they're dominant inward trait. That You know, this is something others might not see about them. They're actually a very paranoid individual. This is a moon in Sagittarius, wounded warrior. This person could have, like, a hard past, um, not even just in connections, just in general, that, you know, kind of puts this guard up and, you know, causes them to be defensive and so defensive that they might even ruin things sometimes. The world card, something that others might notice about this person, they change a lot, okay? They don't change a lot, but they make, they make big changes a lot. So they make big decisions a lot is what I feel here uh, intuitively. All right, life-changing decisions. Look at these infinity symbols, okay? Um, so that it's like they um, they don't hesitate to make decisions that will like change the course of their path like forever, okay? They put in a lot of work on things, okay? They're a very loyal individual. This is how they view love in a general sense, okay? So it's like, this to me doesn't feel like a burden. It just feels like somebody who it just literally gives their all, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. All right, but, you know, coming up for this Taurus, uh, you know, the Temperance card, okay? So they appear to be trying to take the middle road here. They're, they're trying to keep peace, the balance, you know, the harmony within the connection, right? That's what I feel like is happening here. Um, but they're dragging the past around. Whatever the past is, you guys could have a past that you're not talking about, all right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is showing up here. This cloak in Rider Waite can, you know, it's oversized. It's like, it looks really heavy, right? Uh, it can sometimes symbol like dragging around, symbolize um, like dragging around baggage, uh, dragging around the past right um so they are very attracted to you they do want to grow with you all right uh nine of pentacles is also to me a card of responsibility she has to maintain you know all of this here right so it's like this person um they want to put in a lot of work okay they see love as work and i feel like you know the conflict here is that you probably don't see love as work you probably see it as something that should not have all this conflict that should not have all this reassurance insecurity uh you know, that's what I'm feeling here. But they're trying to keep their options open because they understand that the two of you have difference. They under differences. They understand that, you know, things are out of balance here. Um, seven of Cups. So, yeah, this is their goal here. They're trying to, um, you know, 
they're trying to look at their other options, okay? That's what I feel like is happening here. The Seven of Pentacles is showing up as how they're handling this internally. So, I mean, I think they're disappointed in the way that things turned out, okay? Uh, they're very fatigued at all the work they've put in in this situation, I feel, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here. If it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. But they are. They're really fatigued. Look at him. Very disappointed. He's putting all this work. They feel like they've wasted their time here. This Taurus does. They feel like they've wasted their time. Okay? Nine of Cups showing up is what's at risk. <clears throat> so it's like everything they've wished for. You know, it's down the drain. It's no more. They've wasted their time. Period. So that's what this is about here. You know, they're kind of having their arms crossed, waiting, 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 waiting. And it's like, at some point, you know, you've got to turn around and look at look at your other options here, right? Nine of Swords is showing up as the obstacle here. So, you know, I feel like this Taurus, they feel really hurt by whatever happened here, okay? They're still healing from this, okay? This is like the nine is like after the eight. It's after you've been trapped, restricted, can't move, okay? So I do think that they are on the men. They are making progress, but this is like waking up from a nightmare, okay? Not saying that you caused a nightmare for this Taurus, all right? But I'm just saying that, um, you know, they feel really hurt by whatever happened from this, okay? Look at, like, the, these swords climbing the wall. All this grief, like, you know, just building and building and building, right? And it's like, that's their, these are their thoughts as well. They're really in their head about this, really overthinking things, okay? Yeah, it's like a lot was built here, okay? We've got the seven and two nines. A lot was built here, okay? This was probably a connection that, um, you know, they put a lot of time into. If it wasn't a lot of time, it was a lot of energy. Knight of Pentacles is showing up as, you know, how they appear or how, what the actions they're going to take. Jesus Christ. So slowly but surely, I think they're moving forward. Virgo energy. I think they're moving forward, okay? And there's going to be some kind of win here for one or both of you, okay? But, you know, Five of Swords to me, it's, it's Aquarian energy, by the way. It's someone who will win at all costs. All right, so maybe this Taurus is like a petty kind of, you know, ex-lover or something of that nature. Um, but they're they're wanting to win here. All right, they're wanting to move forward from you. They're determined to move forward from you. Okay, and this Five of Swords showing up here. You know, they're determined to win whatever this is, and they're determined to cut this off and go after someone where things are reciprocated. Now, I should have just read in the favor of the person watching. Okay, but um. Yeah, you know, this could be, if you're a Taurus, or if you're not a Taurus, fuck, whatever. I'm done. I'm done trying to explain it, all right? <laughs> I'm done trying to explain it. If it's not your story, then it's not your story. If the roles resonate, vice versa, then they resonate, vice versa, all right? So, that's what I feel like saying here. Um, whew, that was messy there in the end. My bad. But um, if it didn't resonate, you could always try back next week. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. Tap that bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great week.